pretty gang energy. First off, hashtag pretty gang in the comments. Okay, I need y'all to check in, check in, check in. I want to come in and talk to you guys about how to content plan November like a boss. Okay, like a pro. So those of you guys who do not know, I do have a content planner. And it is pretty much how to content plan like a pro. And it tells you, um, it gives you kind of a layout monthly, um, weekly, things that you can do and how you can go about planning. It's a place to plan your content. Let's jump right into it. So if you're watching this, there's probably likelihood that it is November, okay? And what I need for all of us to pay attention to is there are many days in November that are some bizarre or unique or funny days that we can be taking, um, we can take advantage of because there are different days that could pertain, pertain to different types of businesses. So I actually, I'm going to leave the link of this site in the description below so make sure you guys are checking out the description for my how to content plan like a pro and for this link to everything that i'm about to show you okay for all the days that we have in november that you can take advantage of that might pertain to your business so you can have more content instead of your regular content to add to your regular content so let's talk about a couple of things the first thing i'm going to need you to do is i need you to know your audience and those are the two things you need to know is what time is your audience looking at you and also what does your audience like okay there are two things. What does your audience like from you and what time? And if you're like, you know what, Jen, I am so new to this content creating thing. I'm just jumping on a bandwagon. No problem. What I'm going to want you to do is follow popular days and popular times. So there's people, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays are very popular times or, or popular days that people are on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. And then times are usually early morning, 8 a.m. or 12 p.m. people are on lunch or 5 or 6 p.m. when people are just getting off of work okay so if you do not have an audience yet again popular days follow that if you have your audience you need to be checking your analytics you need to be checking when are your people looking at you and when are your people like uh, or what do your people like from you and when i talk about what do they like from you you have to think about not what you want to give to people but what they want from you right like me i like i have i have a tendency that i want to write stuff but you guys don't come to me Friday. You guys come to me for videos. You come to me because I'm going to be like hashtag pretty gang in the comments. Okay? So you have to know what your people like. And you have to know the time. The next thing that you need to think about is what your people do like. But you also need to think about what you can give your people. Okay? So you can write. So you can write through blog, email, or quotes. Right? Everybody sees on some people's Instagrams and TikTok and all that. You see people do a lot of writing. And they're pointing. And they're doing all these dances. So you can do something like that. Or you can do long long video, short video. Long video would mean like, okay, doing a YouTube video, doing a TikTok dance that's a little bit lengthy. Short is somewhere between, you know, 15 seconds to 45 seconds. You just want to get your point across, help your people get in, get out. Um, and then you also can do audio. For those of us who like to remain faceless, okay, you can do podcasting. You can get on YouTube. You don't have to put your face up. You can just put pictures up. Okay, so these are things that you can be doing, but let's talk about how you're going to content plan around what your people like, what time they're looking at you, and what's going to be your format. Okay, let's jump over to the holidays, bizarre days, special days, wacky days that you can capitalize on. So in November, there, I mean, November 1st, we have All Saints Day, Dios los muertos, okay, Dios los muertos. Um, a National Authors Day and World Vegan Day. So, say if, for example, if you are a somebody that talks about writing, blogging, you can content plan about around National Authors Day, right? Say, for example, you're into fitness, you can um, give some tips and some tricks about vegan, maybe some vegan recipes, maybe um, giving people things to read about veganism. That's something you can do. So November 2nd, there's also Souls, Souls Day, there's Devil Eggs Day, there's Look for a Circle Day, there's Plan a Pit, is it a Pit of, a Pit of Day? Okay, U.S. General Election Day. So for those of you guys maybe into politics, you might talk about um, the U.S. election and what's currently going on and, you know, what are the policies and, and legislations that are out there. Those are things that you could talk about. Or, or for those who are more on a religious side, you know, you might be a, a preacher, a pastor, an uh, evangelist. You can talk about All Souls Day. For those of you who do cooking, baking, you can do maybe a devil's egg recipe because November 2nd is Devil Eggs Day, Okay. Uh, November 3rd, there's Cliche Day, there's Housewives Day, there is Sandwich Day. Again, 
cliche day that can go for anybody if you have a brand and you might say five things that are cliche in my niche right for housewives day for those who are housewives or if you're trying to pitch something to a housewife you can be like five work from home jobs for housewives five cleaning products for housewives like you can create things that are specific to housewives november 4th we have king tut day we have check your blood pressure day um oh there it's a hindu day hindu diwali day then men make dinner day that's cute and use your common sense day for november 4th so you guys might come through with tips about whatever you do that five things that are common sense in my niche because today is use common sense day you guys get where i'm going with this so you don't have to keep turning your wheels to say what am i going to talk about what am i going to promote what am i going to share uh -uh, we don't have no problem because you have all these days that say there are specific day and you can create content around that day let's go to november that's groundhog's day right then you have november 6th that's book lovers day again if you're an author if you're a speaker you might give the top five books that changed my life right the top five books that are good for parents the top five good that are good for men the top five books that are good for women why because november 6th is book lovers day right it's also a national nacho day again if you into food you're a baker you're a cook you do those things you can say hey here's my recipe for some bomb nachos some great nachos some awesome nachos right it's also saxophone day if you're an artist if you're a musician and you know anything about saxophones you might go and find a history of saxophones you might put that up as a quote you might share a great saxophone player as like something for people to look to or be inspired by right november 7 is bittersweet chocolate with almonds day that's a lot right but again if you are into fitness if you are into health if you are into um cooking you can share about that right then november 8th cook something bold day all right again if you're into cooking and all of that you can say hey cook this try this here's this recipe um november 9th is um chaos never is died chaos never dies day wow okay that's a lot so you might say if you're a work from home mom you might show okay in my house this might seem like chaos but it's not i know where everything is and these these are my five tips to get my kids off to school without it being chaotic you know you can do some some tips you can do some tricks with that right then we also have um wall freedom day young readers day right again if you're into books if you're an author maybe you're an author that does children's books young readers day that's a great way to pitch your book to kids and they might tell their mom or dad they want your book they want your coloring book they want the new book that you're talking about on tiktok on instagram on youtube you guys should get where i'm going with this okay november 10th forget me not day right you the Mar marines day is november 10th if you are in the military and you um want to celebrate that day and you want to make sure that you know people are aware of veterans or people are aware of programs november 11th that's the day november 12th chicken soup for the soul day N nice okay that's you know book as well as if you legit want to just show somebody a recipe for some chicken noodles right um well pneumonia day again to give awareness if you're in the medical field you can give awareness about pneumonia right november 13th is caregiver day um caregiver appreciation day so if you know somebody that's a caregiver whether that's for family whether that is for children there's caregiver day um uh national mm, i don't know about that one but mm. so there's sadie hawkins day on the 13th the 13th is also world kindness day you can create a blog post about 10 things that somebody can do kind for somebody else you can do you know five ways to pay it forward like world kindness day is on november the 13th november the 14th is operating room nurse day so if you know a nurse you can thank nurses you can give statistic about nurses you can praise nurses because that day is operating room nurse day and then also november 14th is diabetes day again awareness sharing tips sharing encouraging people to go get their their sugar level check there's a lot of things that you can do in november it's not just about and we're gonna get to the, i know the days y'all here for but there's more than black friday and there's more than thanksgiving 
in November. And I'm sharing that with you. Again, the link of all of this is going to be in. The link to this is going to be below. Right? So then November the 15th is Americans Recycle Day. Clean Your Refrigerator Day. National Philanthropy Day for November the 15th. November 16th is Button Day. Have a Party with Your Bear Day. International Tolerance Day. Right? Um, and usually for International Tolerance Day, if I'm not mistaken, I think it, it also, they also named it once upon a time, it was a day of silence, right? You would be silent because you were not in tolerance of, um, you were not in tolerance of bullying and things like that. Um, National Fast Food Day. Again, if you're in a fitness and you're all of that, you can tell people, you know, about fast food, the, the, the pros, the cons, or you might be like me and I still tell my folks over on my other channel, you can eat dirty. It's about the amount that you eat fast food. It's not the fast food. It's the amount of fast food and what you choose to get when you get to fast food. But that's a whole other story for a whole other time. November 17th is Electronic Greeting Day, right? You might do a tutorial and show people how to create an electronic greeting for them to send to somebody else. Home Homemade Bread Day. I'm girl, my banana, banana nut bread and low. Okay, got the recipe for one of the homegirls. It's been a hit ever since. Okay, homemade bread day. Take a hot day and world peace day. Okay, again, these are some things just to get your, your juices flowing so that you can go ahead and create content around these days. You do not have to be stuck just making content about Thanksgiving, being grateful, and Black Friday. Here are a whole bunch of things that you could be making. November 18th. Great American Smokeout, um, Occult Day, uh, November 19th is Have a Bad Day Day, which is we ain't going to have no bad days. We'll have a good day, but that's even a day, you guys. November 20th, uh, Absurdity Day, Beautiful Day, National Adoption Day. You guys, come on now. National Adoption Day. Then there's Universal Children's Day, all on November 2nd. So if you're a teacher, um, if you provide any type of... Um, if you provide any type of content for kids, the uh, Universal Children's Day, come on now. Or if you are a adoptive parent or if you are a caregiver of foster children, you can share your knowledge about that on National Adoptions Day or on Universal Children's Day. November 22nd is False Confessions Day or World Hello Day. Okay? November 22nd is Go For a Ride Day. November 23rd is Eat a Cranberry Day, National Cashew Day, ooh, National Espresso, okay? Show somebody how to make some espressos. Show somebody how to make it like Starbucks. Show somebody how to make it like Coffee Bean. Like, these are other things that we could be doing, of course, November 24th, um, Evolution Day, National Ties Day, and then November 25th that we all know about, which is, it's National Parfait Day, but it's also Thanksgiving, you guys. And then 20, the, uh, November 26th, of course, is Black Friday. But people also are deeming this Buy Nothing Day. Don't buy nothing on on, um, on Black Friday. Because sometimes it, you out there fighting for a, a big screen TV that's going to be on the same sale in two weeks. But I'm just saying. Um, Shop a Reminder Day. Your Welcome Day, right? November 26th. And then November 27th is Pins and Needles Day. So if you're into crocheting, if you're into sewing, if that's your niche, Pins and needles, you can show people things, how to create something, how to be safe when you're sewing, how to properly crochet or how to properly knit something, right? P pins and needles day. November 28th, right? That's um, event begins, so that's uh, more, or um, then it says Hanukkah begins, and it says French toast day, then it says uh, make your own head day, mm, I never heard of that one, red planet day, and then there's November 29th, you guys, and that is um, China Pet Day or Square Dance Day and then November 30th is Stay at Home Because You Are Well Day. Okay? Stay home on November 30th because you're supposed to be well. But my point of sharing all of this is to say, you guys, there is content out here. I know for a lot of us, if you're brand new and making content, you're like, well, what do I create? Well, here's a list of things that you can create around. And if you're like me and you get to a point where you start to burn out, you can come back to lists. And websites like this that let you know there's always something to be creating about. Why? Because we turn our skills into dollar bills over here on the Pretty Chicks and Vest channel. Hashtag Pretty Gang in the comments. Again, you guys make sure you're checking out my how to content plan like a pro um, planner. And